The Renaissance didn't just change how Europe looked, it changed how Europe thought. For centuries, knowledge existed, but it wasn't tested. Authority mattered more than observation. Ancient texts were respected, not questioned. That began to change in Italy. Italian scholars didn't treat classical works as sacred relics. They treated them like instruction manuals. How did Romans build roads? How did Greeks calculate motion? How did ancient doctors understand the body? And then they checked. Anatomy returned first. Doctors and artists began studying the human body directly. Dissections happened openly. Muscles, bones, and organs were drawn accurately. This wasn't morbid curiosity, it was medical progress. Understanding anatomy meant better surgery, better treatment, and fewer guesses. Mathematics followed. Algebra and geometry, preserved and refined in Spain, were applied to engineering, architecture, and mechanics. Buildings weren't just beautiful. They were structurally sound. Perspective in art wasn't aesthetic flair. It was geometry. Astronomy returned as well. Star charts and calculations inherited from earlier scholars were tested and refined. Observation replaced assumption. Measurement replaced tradition. Science became practical. Record-keeping mattered. Experiments were repeated. Results were compared. This was new. Not because the knowledge was new, but because the method was. Italian universities and workshops created spaces where questioning wasn't dangerous. It was encouraged. Failure wasn't heresy. It was data. That shift is everything. Once Europe accepted that the natural world could be measured, tested, and understood, progress accelerated. Science stopped being commentary on ancient texts. It became investigation. And once that door opened, it couldn't be closed again. But here's the key. This wasn't an Italian miracle. It was the final stage of a process that began centuries earlier, when knowledge was preserved, expanded, and transmitted through Spain. Italy didn't create science from nothing. It gave it a launch pad. And once launched, science didn't stay in Italy. In the next episode, we'll look at how the Renaissance spread north, and why printing, trade, and politics turned a regional movement into a continental transformation. If you enjoyed this trip down the rabbit hole, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Smart History for Dumb Times.